Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Rise and Road with yours truly, the Hermit Hood. How you guys all out there doing today? I'm doing quite well myself. I'm a bit bummed out that we're not getting as many views and we're losing some subscribers here and there. But you know what? I'm not going to complain. I'm going to push forward with my project out here in the Badlands and whenever it's done... If we're if we're down if we've lost a lot more subscribers on that, you know what? I'll deal with it then. Until that happens, well, you know what? I'm gonna push forward with my project here. Alright, so what I have done off camera this morning is I have started to get this thing right here. Mm pushing the uh, wall of the construction of this over here. I wanted to be able to start to do some work on this today. One of the things I wanted to be able to do was to start to be able to have like, let's see here, if I do set, um, not that, um, let's do set R, um, let's do set R, we're going to do 25, Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to push this thing over onto this side like this. I want this at, I want the pitch at 25, okay? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit control on this one right here. All right, so this right here is basically going to be the pitch. Um, let's go ahead and hit control on that one more time and let's try to get that thing straight, shall we? Um... That doesn't look straight. All right, let's set that back. There we go. All right, that seems to be roughly about the way that I want it to be. I want it to have a little bit more of a pitch to it, but we're going to work with this one just the way it is for right now. Okay, let's just go right ahead. We're going to hit Control on this, and I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing right here. Okay, so right here... We're going to have a roof. It's going to come up at an angle. All right. I'm going to go ahead, decontrol off of this. And we're going to go ahead, hit backspace. And I want that roof to come up and hit off of this. I need to uh, try move this thing down here just a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring this in here and just put this right here. Okay. So... What I want to be able to do is, let's hit enter off of this, and we're going to hit enter, let's hit control, let's push it in, there we go, let's raise it all the way up using a page up key, I'm sure you guys have probably done this plenty of times yourselves by now, but what I'm doing is, I'm making the pitch for where the roof is going to be, for this side of the building okay now there's going to be windows on this church and the church windows are going to be above the roof okay so this right here is going to be like the mass area um, we're going to put some more rooms over here on this side because there has to be another church bell area over there on that side so we have to add six more rooms and well four more prayer rooms pretty much but for right now we're getting the basics done on one side of the church at a time i want the framework in and that's pretty much what we're building right now is just the framework let's go ahead let's get this one up and let's go ahead let's bring this one down and we're going to sink it in so that it's roughly about the same size now what I want to do is I'm going to drag that thing the whole way down, okay? Um, this thing's going to take me a little bit of time to drag it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it one right on top of this, um, like one in each of these center pieces, one on top of, and one like right up against the bell tower over here, okay? So we need to like locate dead center on this. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to start dragging this thing from right here, and we're going to locate where the center of this thing is. Uh, these beams that we're going to be able to see, you're not going to be able to see them from the inside of the church. We could change that at some other point in time, but for right now, I kind of want to like see if I can center them with the rooms themselves. Okay, so let's say we put 
a beam right there. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's drag another one across. Let's see if we can center off another beam. Now, the roof is going to go up at an angle to connect to this. That's my idea with this right here, is the roof will come up, it'll connect to it, and if I'm right, that right there should connect to this right here. Um, if we can get it, yes, I think that's it right there. Yeah, that's good. Okay, now let's see if we can get another one in here. All right, this one's going to have to be centered with this one. And we're going to build the, uh, we're basically building the frame for it today, guys. I'm anxious to do this. I've been waiting to be able to do this for a while now. And, all right, roughly about right there. Yes, okay. Now, this next one is going to come all the way over here. It's going to hit up with this. Now, I don't have my center beam on that just yet. And we will put that in. Um, we got a couple of them we actually have to put in there for the rooms. Uh, that way we got some space to kind of work with. But for right now, we're going to go ahead. We're going to shove this thing in roughly about right. In, looks like it's off. Let's zoom in there and let's see where this thing belongs. Let's see here. Can we see this? Roughly about, eh. I guess it's going to be off just a little bit. That's okay. We can deal with it. All right. Let's bring this one in towards the center. And then we have to connect up towards a bell tower. So what we're going to have is a series of these. And we can build the uh, roof frame to go with it. All right. So this thing is going to be centered like middle where the uh, door is, the door frame. So we're going to say this right here is roughly just about center. Let's go ahead, jam that thing in right there. Don't worry about it just sitting, floating in the air at the moment. We'll deal with that in just a moment. What we're going to do is just drag this thing all the way over there. You see how that thing just like connected up beautifully right there? What we want to do is bring it up way over here and make sure it is like right on the edge. Just like so. All right, let's go ahead, control, enter, and there we go. All right, now we need a board that is maximized in full tench, and it's full length. All right, and from that, we're going to go ahead, we're going to hit enter off of this. Let's go ahead, hit control. Let's bring that thing all the way in. Make sure it's like, in line with that all right and start to drag it forward towards me all right that way we have some space to work with on this all right now this should unite all of this over here that way we got a little bit of gravity supporting these other uh, beams over here at the same time okay I'm not sure how much space I'm gonna have to work with this I'm gonna keep an eye on that right there And if you guys are ever getting bored with my videos, the way they are being done, please let me know in the comments below. I mean, what what else would you like to see? I'm going to go ahead and overlap that right there. And let's go ahead and drag this in just a little bit further and plug it in right there. Okay, so from where that thing is right there, I need to enter and I need to hit the backspace button just one more time. We're going to go ahead and hit enter off of this, shove it, whoop, and we need to, hit, whoop, nope, okay, turn the enter off, turn the control off when you just messed up, there we goes. Now hit the enter, then hit control, then drag it in there, and then page down on this thing, and let's F2 down at the same time, Wee! there we go. And we're going to bring this down here as like a precautionary measure for the room, pretty much. <laughs> it just basically separates off the room and connects it up a little bit better. So it's going to come down here. It should connect with this. Let's go ahead. Let's do that.
bang okay that is perfectly in place it's in line with that right there it's not off looks good okay let's f2 well not f2 let's go ahead control and this and let's take a look at this all right so what else is missing here well mm, it's hard to say at this point but we are missing this very long one. Okay. Huh. Well, let's go ahead. Let's put this frame in. And then we're, we're going to do is... This is looking good, guys. So far, so good. We got the framework built in. All right. And we need to put this one in. Let's go ahead. Let's get this one in place. And I will change the time accordingly if I need to. Just making sure it's right. There we go. Control. Is that time setting already? We just fixed that. Todd 9. There we go. Um, now, is that perfect? Okay, it looks good. It's not connected over here just entirely right. And how does it look up against these boards? Uh, you know what? We'll have to live with it. Um, let's go ahead. Let's drag it over. and it's it's perfect like over here it's perfect with that one over there um not with this one though all right and okay well all right i don't know what happened there but uh looks like we got it <laughs> all right let's go ahead and let's bring this big board in and let's go ahead hit the control key off of it and let's see what we can do about this angle that we need for right here okay so this angle right here if i was to go ahead and hit control like on this we need to look and see where it's going to end like right here okay um from the looks of things it looks like it's going to be okay now remember this one needs to come all the way in we need to be able to page up on it at the same time because we need a pitch. Okay, we just need the pitch. Let's go ahead. Let's page up on that one more time. Drag that out. And there's our pitch right there. Okay, so this right here needs to be able to come across to all of the other boards. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pause and I'm going to do that. And with the last board in place, all right, let's go ahead, do this, backspace, and we now got the roof basically in place, guys. So let's go ahead, let's drop down here, and it does kind of look awkward because it doesn't have a little bit of a support over there on the edges. Um, how about we go ahead and we fix that? And whenever we do that, we can come down here through the edges, and we can add room for adding well some extra wall support in here i mean basically what we could do now is we could add uh room for adding windows in here if we wanted to so if we want to we could add a window here a window here you there's no reason why you should have to add a window in the dead center sure it's decorative but at the same time we're looking at support for the roof itself okay so i'm gonna go ahead let's f2 into the air on this thing and let's take a look at this all right let's first off let's say this is dead center all right, let's go ahead. Let's bring this one up and let's take a look at this. All right, let's see where this one is exactly. All right. So we want to be able to connect up with this. That's cool. We can do that. Let's go ahead. Let's see what we can do here. All right. Um, it's a little bit. It's not connecting. Okay. You guys see how that's not connecting? Well, that's because we need to get some more of this in. All right, let's go ahead. Let's fix that then. Let's go ahead. Let's hop on up over here. Hmm. And what we're going to do is we're just going to shorten it just a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead, hit the enter key off of this. 
hit the control key, and we're going to take a look and see exactly how far this is going down. I don't think we want our pitch that far. Maybe about yay far. Yeah, that looks to be about right. Let's go ahead, hit this. Let's go ahead, hit this one right here. Control. Yeah, that looks to be about good right there. Now, I probably should have an additional pitch coming off over here on this edge, but I'm going to kind of leave it just the way it is. So we're going to go ahead. Let's bring this across again once more. I'm going to pause, and I'll be back. All right, guys, and I'm back. All right, let's go ahead. Let's hit that enter key, backspace, and let's get inside of here now. All right, so we were saying, talking about adding a little bit of support inside of here, right? Well, let's go ahead. Let's maximize. <laughs> Sounds kind of awkward. Yes, I know. Let's go ahead. Let's put this thing in here, but not right there. Let's bring it like all the way down here. Okay. Let's bring this thing. Let's set it like right here in the center. And we're going to go ahead and set it right there possibly. Okay. And once we get up here, what we're going to do is we're going to try to, uh, center this thing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to page up on it as high as i possibly can and it looks like it's going to be coming up right there okay so i want to go ahead and drag this thing up to where it's not going to poke its way through the roof but right about right there okay and if I go ahead and pull this thing forward to about right there, then page down on it, I could do the, roughly about the same thing right here as well. So what this is doing is it's allowing me to locate where the rest of these are and it's adding some extra support inside of here. Okay. Now, one of the extra things I would like to be able to do with this is, let's go ahead first off, let's add, bring this across, let's bring this over, like right here, and I would like to, first off, is that thing straight? It looks like it is, but it don't seem like it. I guess maybe it is. All right, so once I get this thing in here, I want to be able to come up here and I want to add one more beam that comes across in the dead center, okay? Think of this as your, think of this more or less as your uh, cross beam, okay? This is, well, not a cross beam, but as a support beam that adds a little extra support. Um, you can see it coming down through the wall over here. You don't see it popping up outside so that we have something to work with. All right, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to place that there. So to this beam that comes down up there, it has that extra support that comes through there. It has support that comes from here going down through there. And it's just basically all about physics, okay? That's, to me, that's all it's about. Um, it's about us just trying to add a little extra added support to this. And to me, it's, it's just something I think it's, it would fit the theme quite well here. So if I was to take this thing for right here and just say, all right, let's just, well, we don't want to do that from right there. All right, we want to kind of be able to come across and just do this on every single spot where it comes in. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's say we do this right here. It should line up with this one perfectly. Well, it should. Kind of hard to tell, isn't it? I'll tell you guys what. I'm going to go ahead and maybe we should put these things like... How about I go ahead and I put these cross beams coming down and I'll be back. Alright guys. Now this next thing that I'm adding in here is for some extra bracing. 
and we're only going to have to add in a couple more things to this. I know that inside a rising world, you don't have to usually worry about adding bracing into it because the game does not have physics. But just for the sake of this building, um, I want to try to add it into it anyways because it just kind of feels like it needs it to me. You know, it's we're going to be collapsing a part of the roof at one time so I'm just kind of adding in this right here now one of the things I'm talking about is I would like to add in another beam that kind of comes across like right in this region or something that comes down from like right here and connects to it okay so what we need from right here is we need one more flat piece and then from there we need another angle which is going to come down which is basically going to turn this into like a diamond shape uh well quarter diamond shape so we're right now i'm just kind of building the trusses up and that's what this is these are the trusses for the uh, angle of the church i'm not going to put the roof on the building yet i'm going to copy these in a blueprint for the other side of the building and we're just going to basically take this side of it and we're going to paste it onto the other side of the complex. All right. So that I have something that I could work with. Um, I got everything else in. The uh, I beams and everything seems to be working great. Um, I'm hoping everything on this. I'm really hoping this turns out looking great because. Like I said, I want to take that entire side over there, all of the constructions, and I want to paste it over here, which means we're going to have to, like, delete a lot of this over here to even do that. And we're just going to flip it, hopefully. <laughs> uh, with the exception of the tower, okay? I really don't want to add the tower in. Where do we leave off at on this? We should be able to see that board moving. There it is, right there. All right. So let's go ahead, let's continue on with this, and let's see if we can blueprint these rooms and move them over in just a moment. Um, I can finish. It's just right now, it's just trying to take the biggest shortcut that we possibly could at right now. The floor that we have in this side of the building, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to blast that out. And that floor right there i'm going to knock out that door so we don't have to worry about it um because i don't want that stuff moving over there uh, all i need is basically the trusses and the walls moved over there and we're just going to flip them I don't know how that's going to work out, but we're going to try it, and if I end up with a piece of the tower, then we'll just knock it out. So let's go ahead, let's do this, let's go ahead, hit control, uh, pull this down here for a moment, let's go ahead, hit two, and please tell me I did not place these things in here individually like I think I did. Alright, let's blast the door out, and yes I did, I placed all this in here individually. Let's get these up out of here because, you know what, it's a post-apocalyptic floor. Why did I add this in here for a texture is beyond me. <laughs> I mean, honestly, why did I put that in here? This over here looks so much better and so much more grandor than the rest of the place. Well, not really, but... You, you get my idea. You get the idea. It, it does. It looks so much better. Um, now, the trusses... Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and let's make a blueprint of this. All right? I do got a blueprint. I reorganized my stuff. I picked it all up off the road over here so you guys can get a better idea of the, the place. And I put it in... I want to say I put it in here. Let's see here. Page two. Or did we put it in here? Come on. Open up. There it is. Aha. All right. Let's go blueprint this. And let's see if we can get this construction from 
here, all the way up. All right, I just need, could you please let me through? Thank you, thank you. All right, and we're gonna go to here. All right, let's go ahead, let's hit F2. Let's get, in, I, I said F2, not F3. How did that happen? Mm. Uh, give me a moment. All right, guys, I got it. Let's go ahead, let's page up on this thing. And let's just go around the entire construction. Let's, I think I have to move this one out. Let's see, can I just, yes, I can. All right, let's go ahead. Let's move that out some. And does it have to move over here? No. Um, all right, does it need to page down? You know what, we're gonna page down anyways. Shift and page down. And let's go ahead, let's F2 and stop flying around here just for a moment. We're going to call this, you know what, just um, just temporary for the time being. All right, let's go ahead, let's create that. All right, and let's go ahead, hit J. Let's go ahead, let's bring up the blueprints. Let's hit this. And what I want to do with this, as I was saying, it looks like I got to move some blocks out of it. All right, let's go ahead. Boom, 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 boom. And bingo. All right. Let's F2 into the air. And what we need to do is pull this thing out and just kind of shove it over in here. That way, this right here, it kind of separates off. But at the same time, it doesn't have the bell tower. Okay. So... How do we do this without causing mm -hmm. any trouble? Huh. You know what? All I really have to do is just line up this corner right here. <clears throat> Bingo. Got it. Okay. So all I really have to do is just line up this corner. So if I... Nope. Mm. Put that back. All right, mm -hmm. and what happens? Can we page down on this thing to get it to go down? Hmm. All we need is the boards to merge. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like it can merge. All right, page down. <clears throat> It might seem like it's a little bit off. Maybe right there is more perfect than what we expect. I'm hoping mm. this thing will work. I'm hoping this will work. Um, I may have to realign a few things, but I'm hoping this works. Um, it looks like it needs to come forward just a touch. And that's just from up here. Um, it does. It looks good. Mm. Um, what about right here? Does it need to be like right there? Yeah, it kind of looks like it needs to be there. Um, we can remove this area from where the bell tower is because the bell tower is going to be back here in a corner. So we already got the measurement for that. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead. Let's place that thing. Bingo. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's pull this thing up out of my hand. Let's go ahead. Let's get this up out of here. And let's pull this out of the way now. All right, and I think our church is coming together. Yeah, that looks a lot better now. Yeah, all right. Now, my biggest question is, is this board that's coming across, am I going to have to straighten it out? Well, let's find out. Let's go ahead. Let's hit the. Uh, we're going to use the enter key for module snapping. We're going to go ahead and maximize the entire length of it. And let me back up here just a little bit. And. You know what?
it's not off that bad. We might be able to get away with this. <clears throat> as far as that foundation goes, I am very curious as to how that turned out. Let's get down underneath. Let's have a look. Oh, that foundation that came out. Not <gasps> ah, okay. They merged. It just needed to come down just a hairline. So I can undo the blueprint, put it back in, but it's already in place. I don't think I want to mess with it any more than this. All right, so let's just go ahead. Let's add this board in here. And I'm just going to have to make do with it just the way it is for right now. Um, this right here would just be the beam that comes across. I'll have to make do with it, see what we can do. But I think this will control and do this. We'll have to see what we could do about fixing that up. But I think this is it. I think this is it, guys. This looks to be... It looks good. We could add another bell tower onto this, too. One thing I only have to do is I just got to pop down here and remove some of these. But, uh, yeah. I think the church is coming together. All we needed was a blueprint. <laughs> Don't hit that. Hit that. There we go. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We could do more work on this now, guys. We can. Um, we got an alternate room right here. It already has the floorboards in it. We got one right here. We could put some floorboards in it. Um, so you guys might be wondering right now. Okay. You might be wondering right now, how are we going to backspace? How are we going to uh, do the windows? Well, I just maximized this thing right here. Now, for the windows, what I would like to do is bring this thing in here. I would like to hit the enter key off of this, hit the control key. I'm going to pull this thing the whole way in till it's like right there, okay? Because I want this to kind of merge right within itself and then we're gonna page up on it the entire way there's a reason why all of this stuff was like this all right <clears throat> there's an entire reason for it there's a reason for my madness you guys gotta remember that there's a reason for it <laughs> we're gonna bring this thing the whole way up okay <sighs> let's see what we can do here hmm there's got to be an end to that snake sometime today. <laughs> ah, okay, we found the end of the snake. All right, let's go ahead. Let's bring that piece down. There we go. And pay drop one more time. And bada bang, bada boom, baby. All right, now we can go ahead and we can drag this thing across. And we can connect it up to all of these. Okay? I think this is going to work out nice. So we get, what we're going to do is in between each one of these is where all the windows are going to go. Okay, so picture this, all right? Hmm. Picture this right here. There you go. Picture that. All right, yeah, picture that. Picture that, guys. Picture that. Mm -hmm. I think this is going to look good. All right, we're going to have to do that individually for each and every hmm. single one of them, though. Like for this one right here, hit control, shove that thing all the way in there. And then we'll have to raise it all the way up. Uh, eh, there we go. Mm -hmm. We'll just have to raise it all the way up. So picture this right here, guys. You go ahead. Let's go ahead, control, enter. Let's pull this out of my hand here. You enter the church mm. for mass. Big, tall windows right there. All right. We'll have a bell tower right there. A bell tower right there. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to come in here, grab your seat. There'll be a little studio back there. You'll be able to kick back, watch mass. Mm -hmm. I mean, enjoy your thing. There'll be a bathroom over here. A couple of, we'll have like a men's room and a ladies room over here. Um, over here will be like the entrance that goes to this bell tower. Um, over here we'll have an entrance that goes to this bell tower. Mm. Um, back here, you know what? We don't want a confession room. Maybe we have a coat room. Um, mm. 
the confession booth is something that we'll build like back there, okay? So that if you want to do a confession or something like that, you can do a confession. You want to go back there and talk to the priest and tell him all about your sins and life, then you can go ahead and do that. But <laughs> I'm going to end this episode, guys. I've had a lot of fun today. Um, the church is coming together, and it's looking great. Yeah, it is. All because of this. We got the framework in, guys. We got the framework. Yeah. I think the reverend is getting happy. I think the reverend is getting happy. Hey, reverend. Reverend. Hey, reverend. You getting happy? Man, I tell you guys what. That reverend. Whoo. Oh, I wish I would have cut that sunset with him. I really wish I would have cut that sunset with him. All right. You know what? Let's see here. What can we do for that? Todd, uh, 23. Hmm. Um, Todd, let's see here. 20. Todd, <clears throat> 21. Can we catch a sunset with the reverend? Can we get a sunset with the good reverend? There we go. Let's get a sunset with the good reverend, guys. Oh, yeah. Uh, His church is coming together, guys. And I want to hear from all of you. What do you think of this? We used a blueprint to get it back, to get it together. And I think it looks good. I like it. I like it, and I'm happy. All right. I'll see y'all next time. Later. <laughs>